Hi everybody, my name is John Tartaglia and I am a producer, writer, and puppeteer for the Jim Henson Company. I think I have the coolest job in the world because I've wanted to be a puppeteer since I was a little kid and now I get to do it at the most famous place in the world for puppets. And as you know, we all have a lot of extra time on our hands right now. We're all stuck inside. So we thought we'd bring some puppet magic to you. We're gonna show you how to make a super simple sock puppet using things you can find around your home. Um, now, everything I'm gonna tell you about can be found on our website, jimhensonsfamilyhub.com. That's jimhensonsfamilyhub.com. We're gonna show you how to make a really fun, silly sock puppet. All right, these are really simple supplies. Um, obviously, because you're gonna make a sock puppet, you need a sock. Now, there's nothing really special about the sock. I just don't have a pair for it, so I can't find the other version of the sock. Uh, so this is the one I chose, but you can use a white sock, a black sock, a brown sock, a dress sock, an athletic sock, it doesn't matter. You need a piece of felt or something like felt. You need some scissors. Now these are obviously adult scissors, but if you're a kid making this, um, you can use kid safe scissors. Now these are uh, different colored markers, a little bit of yarn here, Easter eggs I found lying around, wooden Easter eggs. There's also some wooden beads. This is a low temp hot glue gun. You don't have to use this if you don't have a low temp hot glue gun. You can also use a glue stick. You could use some Elmer's glue, some rubber cement, whatever you have lying around. As long as it'll stick, that's what counts, okay? If you do use a hot glue gun, make sure you get your parents' permissions first and make sure you're very careful because it does get very, very hot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this sock and you're thinking to yourself, how is this gonna be a puppet? Aha, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put my thumb where the heel of your foot goes, I'm gonna put my four fingers up where your toes go, okay? I'm gonna open and close my hand like that, and that kind of gives you a basic shape for the face of your sock, right? Now, I like to let the end hang a little bit because it looks like a big floppy nose. I think it's kind of fun, but you don't have to. You can pull it tight if you want, but that's what I do. So I'm gonna make the mouth of our puppet. What I'm gonna do is take this felt, and again, your mouth can be any shape you want, but I'm gonna make it kind of an oval shape. I'm gonna take my marker here and draw an oval shape here on this felt. I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna cut it out of the felt, just like this. Now, I was that kid that never <laughs> seemed to be able to color inside the lines, so hopefully I'll be able to cut inside the lines. Again, if you're using big scissors like this, be super careful. You can also use kid safe scissors and that's totally fine, it'll do the job. Now what we're gonna do is take this hot glue gun, I'm gonna start to put a ring of hot glue along the back, just like this, you see? Be really, really super careful because it is hot. So watch your fingers, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is take my sock. Remember I put my thumb in the heel? I'm just gonna put, flatten it out a little bit. I'm gonna take this mouthpiece and flip it over and place it right there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is all about just being creative and having fun, right? So there we go. See, super easy. Then watch what happens. Now I'm gonna put my hand inside the sock. So now we have our puppet's mouth. Super cool, right? Hello. Okay, now we're gonna add some eyes. So I'm gonna take my sock puppet back off, flip it over. Oh, I think I'm gonna use these wooden beads because they're kind of fun and goofy. What I like about them is they have like, these holes in them already, so it kind of looks like pupils. And I'm gonna take my hot glue or your glue stick, put a little dab of glue there, stick that on, and a little dab of glue here. Stick that on, look at that. Boop, super easy. Let that dry for a second. Now if you want, you can also take your marker. You could draw some irises around those pupils. Kind of fun. Or you could put some eyelashes if you want. I'm just drawing a little line here. Some nice eyelashes, look at that. Um, you don't have to do this, this is just me being goofy. That's a really fun thing about making puppets too is that there's no right or wrong. It's all about your imagination and what you think you want to do. Now, look at this. Put on my puppet and, hi. He's got a nose, he's got some eyes, he's got his mouth. Again, super simple. Now you can add ears, you can add a, a nose, you could add a goatee, you could add sideburn, you could add whatever you want on this puppet, but I'm just gonna put some hair. Um, so I thought using some yarn would be really fun. Um, I found this yarn in the back of my closet. It's got a little bit of wire in it, which is kind of fun, so it holds its shape. But you could use yarn, you could use um, pieces of paper, anything you wanna use, there's no rules, right? So I'm gonna take this yarn and cut off a couple pieces. I'm gonna do four pieces. Three and four. And I'm gonna 
gonna take the ends here, pull them all together like that, put a little bit of glue, hot glue on it. Again, be super careful, please. It's all fun until you get burnt. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this right here. The hot glue always takes a couple seconds to dry. Um, and I know for me, I get really excited when I'm making a puppet and I don't wanna have to wait. <laughs> but you do have to let it set. So just give it a couple seconds, don't touch it. Um, don't touch it to make sure that it's dry, just let it dry. And now, I'm gonna put my hug back on. I think my hair is dry. And look at that. Hi everyone, <laughs> it's me. Ah, now I get to name my puppet, give a voice to it. Um, and again, you can keep adding to it. You can add anything you want to your puppet. There are no rules whatsoever. And it'd be really cool if your puppet had a place to perform. How about a puppet stage? Well, go to JiminsonsFamilyHub.com to find out even more about how you can make your very own puppet stage. Super simple. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a lot of fun being creative and uh, putting on puppet shows. See you soon. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.